What is up peeps? It's the anime savior back with another video putting in your no fear, no favor. And yeah, today's uh video is basically what makes a good filler arc and or episode, if you're feeling what I'm saying. So this video kind of got inspired by a discussion I had with my brother who found my Naruto collection. And you were just, you know, hauling me up like, yo man, what's up with all these episodes that kind of feel unrelated to the entire anime? Because Naruto has uh, some hell a lot of uh, anime, or I mean, excuse me, has a lot of uh, fillers. And also got inspired by uh, things or discussions I've been in, uh, in on the internet, whether it's done be on Facebook or on uh, forums. And you know, on the on the internet, you kind of you know you're discussing these fillers. You can actually get like two camps. One camp will be like you know fillers just ruin the experience of the anime, and it's unrelated, it's unnecessary, it doesn't be there. Then you get the other camp, which is like nah, fillers are actually good. It's a bit of fresh air. It's it actually enhances the overall experience of the uh, anime. Now, uh, throughout the the video you you basically see be seeing me uh make lots of references to Bleach and Naruto mainly because you know and I stand to be corrected that these two anime I think are all the anime that they are I think these two like have the most fillers I stand to be corrected you know if I'm correct if I'm wrong but yeah and out of the picture I think these two like have the most filler episodes um now also, what I'm about to say about what would make a good filler, let me just, you know, come out of the gate and say that it's not definite, it's not absolute, uh, it's just but general guidelines to what would, you know, make a, normally make a good, entertaining, wholesome filler. That's all, that's all that it is. So I'm not like, you know, saying what, so I'm not you know, putting it to you, whatever I'm about to say is law, it's not law, it's just but general guidelines to what to make a good filler now before you can actually say uh, what makes a good filler or what makes a bad filler for that matter you actually have to look at uh, what is a filler what is what are fillers fillers are based or generally episodes in a continuous serial which are unrelated to the main plot and it doesn't significantly alter relations between characters but Above all else, fillers are just there to basically take up space. That's all. That's the that's the main that's the main basic purpose to take up space. And it's mostly found in ongoing manga that have been adapted or that have been adapted into anime. So in order to like stop the uh, anime from catching up to the manga. And the longer the series or the anime, you know, the more filler episodes, you know, is there to be expected, you know, so especially if the manga is still ongoing. And, you know, I didn't actually know this at first, but if you look at it uh, on average, if you look at the big three, on average, One Piece uses one chapter per episode, Naruto uses two chapters per episode, and Bleach uses 3 chapters per episode. I didn't know that this got brought to my attention like, like a year ago or so. But yeah, that's that. So you can actually like see what which which anime needs more for this and that being Bleach. So yeah, um So what what makes a good filler episode slash off? So so basically good fillers keep with the overall tone of the series you know it keeps you know the momentum going from from really uh the canon episodes or uh, left off the filler just pick up and keep the momentum going which is something you did not see in the uh bound off filler which kind of felt very unrelated because if you look at the bound off i mean if you look at the soul society off and the bound off it was like we just came from a massive high with Aizen, you know, doing his shit, fucking up the captains, and then we went to, suddenly, we just went to, we just went, you know, that nose dive down, we went to Rin Rin and Yuin or whatever, 
and some and some pedo and some ninja it just it just felt unrelated it was it felt like bullshit and i will actually talk more about that in my review i'll be doing of the pound of which you can be expect to be up soon so also there has to be a uh, level of foreshadowing which brings us to a um, a style of filler known as the single upgrade filler and basically this style of filler uses a filler episode or episodes to introduce a new uh, character power up or whatever technique whatever without having to uh, integrate it into the creator narrative or having to worry about uh, disrupting canon storylines which is something that the Toriko anime did not do real well it did not do that uh, and uh, but if you look at it you know about this you know foreshadowing uh, for, not for all the bullshit that uh, Naruto fillers get I have to say that uh, back in the Chikara arc where we saw Naruto using a partial chakra mode you know where it's like flickers on and off that that was good shit that was a real good shit and also we also saw something similar in uh, I know this is not, not a filler but in the Dragon Ball Z movie a Lord Slug when Goku achieves this uh, false Saiyan transformation that was also good he didn't completely transform into a Super Saiyan, but he also, you know, was not, uh, how should I say, he was not a normal, you know, his body was on a Super Saiyan level, but he just needed that trigger to transform into a Super Saiyan. So that was also good shit. And the same part of Pomp Bleach continues the story or the plot or whatever of Ichigo. Of battling this inner hollow, it continues it, and that was also good in the fight with uh, was it Taria Jin? Or was it against Kuga? I'm not sure, but you know, basically, Sykes out, this inner hollow comes out, and he's trying to you know, uh, to bring, you know, to bring it back in, and trying to you know, control this power of this, you know. So that was actually good, that was real good. And then also a good filler usually has some good character development for the main characters but more specifically for the secondary characters characters who you know who don't really do much when it comes to canon storylines and this is something that if you look at dragon ball z for instance i mean if you're gonna do a filler at least you know give yamcha or or fucking krillin some time to shine you know time to do this shit because never knows Yamcha needed some damn character development. I'm serious here. I mean Yamcha was a bitch, I'm just saying. So yeah, it needs secondary characters should have good character development. Main characters should generally have good characterization. And it should continue their inner plot or their inner fight or their inner struggle with what they are, you know, trying to achieve. And also, good filler episodes, you know, it has to have good writing. Good story is compulsory. I mean, I'm taking it from this, from my standpoint that the people who are, are writing these fillers are not the animators and are actual motherfucking writers who actually can write to save their lives. There has to be no lazy writing, I mean, honestly. Just because it's filler doesn't mean... You know, it should have some bullshit storyline. For me, if it doesn't have a good storyline, a good story, I'm not gonna be good. I'm not, you know, really into that. Or it could, like, take the storyline from the past to bring back some characters and put them into new situations. And, you know, it has to have a good story, you know. But, I guess overall, it should just be entertaining. A filler should generally just be an entertaining thing and you know where i stand with all of this is that fillers are generally like, like i said it's a breath of fresh air it's characters and situations that we don't normally see them in that's that's my opinion but yeah that's that, that you know good writing has to have you know some 
decent writing or a storyline or plot it should have good character development there should be some type of level of foreshadowing in it you know going into the next arc after the filler you know stops it should you know it should flow it should flow like water coming out of a tap it should flow and go down the drain but i will be going more into detail about this when i uh review the bound arc the bound filler arc and the shadow of the Andrew or so that you guys can so that I can actually nitpick and uh, add that and that you guys can actually see what the hell I'm talking about. So until that time I will be putting the descriptions down below when I come out with those videos. Hopefully in the next week. If not then I don't know. But that was the anime save here with another video with no fear, no favor, stolen from ETV. And I'll be seeing you around. You know, keep shit 100. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. Boom.